Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of Dell World Technologies here in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Stu Miniman. We have two guests for this segment. We have Honoré Labordette. She is the VP Global Market Development Telco Business Group. Welcome, uh, VMware, thank you, sorry. Thank you, thank yes. Welcome. And we have uh, Kevin Schatzgamer, Senior VP Networking and Solutions, Dell EMC. Thank you both so much for coming on the show. Our pleasure. Thank you. So Kevin, I want to start with you. There was a big announcement this morning, uh, signing with with uh, Orange of France. Tell our, tell our viewers a little bit more about this. Yeah, sure, so, uh, so I think as overall Dell Technologies continues to focus on helping our service providers through what is a very complex transition, both their, in their business, in their operations, in their technology investments, in the operational skill set gaps, in the business models, the architectures, use cases kind of across the board of, of how their businesses are evolving. What we continue to do is focus on a core set of, of telecommunication service providers that we can partner with very deeply to help in that transformation and use the knowledge gained through that collaboration as a means to expand the Dell Technologies capabilities globally. So I think that the belief is that when we help solve problems, it not only benefits the service provider we're working with, it benefits the industry as a whole with the lessons learned so that we can then contribute back. And so far there's been some enthusiasm about this. Uh, there certainly has. I think uh, it's, uh, it's been a big day for us. You know, obviously the first two days at the Dell Technologies world, we're extremely focused on new product introductions across the Dell portfolio. And today with the opportunity to expand the messaging and, uh, and announce some of the great things we're doing with partners, we're doing with our customers, and we're doing within the ecosystem, I think you know, we continue to drive a very positive message. Uh, Honoré, uh, the networking component uh, is uh, something that uh, we, we know service providers have a need and it's ever changing. Uh, you know, we've watched that expand greatly in the VMware portfolio over the years. Uh, I've done plenty of interviews with telcos talking about things like you know, NFE, network functions, virtualization, but the big thing everybody's been talking about the last couple of years it feels like is, is 5G. So maybe we'd start there, but talk a little bit about you know, what you're hearing from service providers and, and how you know, VMware and VMware plus Dell are helping to meet some of those requirements. Sure, well needless to say, 5G is the topic of every conversation we have with our telecommunication customers. And I think that there's a number of um, areas around 5G that are most prevalent in those conversations. One is really how does the service provider uh, get a return on investment for the huge amounts of monies that they're investing in this infrastructure, right? So 5G is a new uh, infrastructure, a new technology that's going to require a refresh of the entire infrastructure. And so while they're making all of those investments and they are doing so very aggressively to have a first mover advantage in terms of the first to deliver on a 5G technology, they want to work with vendors who can in fact accelerate their time to a return on the investment for that infrastructure. So many of our conversations are really focused around how can we help these uh, service providers actually accomplish that, right? Not just build out uh, or take advantage of a software-defined infrastructure and all of the technologies that both Dell and VMware offer to them under the umbrella of the Dell technology companies, but also how can we help them accelerate services that they want to put on top of the 5G technology. I think one of the key differentiators of 5G over its predecessors is that the industry has recognized that it's going to require partnerships in order for the service providers to really get the return on investment. And that's where the partnership with VMware and with Dell and the work that Kevin and I are doing together to focus on uh, service providers is really anchored, right? It's bringing together those partnerships so that these uh, telecommunication customers can take advantage of our technology and do it very quickly. So there's a real acknowledgement of the need for partnerships. Yes. So then how do you show customers that, this, that, this, that the VMware Dell partnership is, is the right direction? Well, needless to say, you know, it's anchored in our technology. Um, Kevin and I have been working together for a number of years now, and our partnership really started out focusing on just making sure that the components of the stack worked as promised, right? That we could deliver a high degree of confidence to our customers that when they software define the infrastructure on Dell technology hardware and then layered on top of that their virtual network functions, that it would perform or outperform their legacy bare metal vertical stack equipment. 
Over time, however, our partnership has progressed to where we're actually collaborating to bring new technology to market together. And one example of that is um, the city of Las Vegas. We recently announced a smart city IoT use case, and that technology, that solution, was co-developed with NTT, Dell EMC and VMware using VMware software, Dell hardware, as well as Dell storage, Dell um, data analytics and intelligence, and NTT's uh, infrastructure and uh, points of presence. Yeah, I, I think there's both a, a technical reality and an operational reality to the technologies that, the, that we speak of, right? The technical reality is that the transformation that the telcos are going through around NFV and the direction toward network edge, edge computing, cloud environments is really just software defined data center similar to what we've done the IT side for a long time. So the technologies that, uh, that the, the telecommunications industry is adopting are the technologies that both Dell EMC and VMware have been working on for a very long time. The operational reality is that just taking what you've done in IT and applying it into a telco network is not sufficient. Understanding of the workloads, how those workloads layer on top of infrastructure, understanding that those workloads are in a transformation of their own and that virtual network functions were not designed to natively consume compute, they were designed for network appliances and that there are still requirements that they drive down to the infrastructure was uh, I think where, where both Honoré and, and, and I have been investing for the last several years, right? How do we complement the broad capability of both Dell EMC and VMware in IT virtualization software defined data center and bring in telco service provider networking expertise and domain knowledge that we can use to be able to really ramp up and accelerate the partnerships we have in the service provider industry. That, that's great stuff. We actually, uh, we got to do an interview on the Smarter Cities earlier this week and a fa fascinating discussion to see how there's, Kevin, I like what you laid out there. You know, when I look at the space, you know, scale gets talked about a lot, but you know, you talk to telcos, they have a little bit of a different scale and the management for these kind of environments is also quite a bit different yeah. than if you were talking the enterprise. Are those some yeah. of the key items? Where, where, where would yeah. you say your I, I also think that, that even further, the, the challenges of scale that have been solved in the public cloud uh, are a different set of challenges than the telco industry is really trying to wrestle with, right? In the public cloud, we're talking about a very small number of facilities and we can build a homo homogeneous architecture within there. We define a standard server, we replicate that server across a rack, replicate that rack across rows, replicate those rows across a data center. The reality is as we get further and further towards the edge of the telco network, it looks more heterogeneous. Right? I need GPUs for particular instances, I have cloud native applications, I have virtualized applications that sit inside of VMs, I have native Linux environments, I need to handle dense networking topologies, I have east-west traffic, north-south traffic that I need to take into account. And I think that what we figured out and what we've learned in automating and orchestrating the public cloud is how to handle hundreds of thousands of things at single digit number of locations. And what we're talking about here is, is uh, hundreds of thousands of locations with single digit number of things. And that's another key area of the collaboration between the two uh, groups in terms of how we deliver value to our telco customers. So rather than us working in silos and delivering yet another disparate technology for managing the edge cloud or all of these different locations, we're working together so that we can bring a cohesive technology to market for them. That's right, I, I think the infrastructure demands an openness and a willingness to be a, a productive member of, an, of a complex and consistently changing ecosystem. Uh, and, and I think that, uh, you know, obviously Dell EMC does that in our way, VMware does it in their way, but there's clear recognition that the better capabilities are when we work together to really drive the platform and bring the true capabilities of the broader Dell technologies together. So, it, it, telecoms is a, is a hugely competitive uh, industry, and as you've talked about, there's a lot of challenges, and it's a real transformative moment for this, for this sector. Can you lay out some of sort of what you're thinking about for, you know, after 5G, which as you said is a <laughs> hugely expensive investment for, for these companies, but sort of post 5G, what are, what are we looking at? What, 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 what's on their minds of your customers? So I don't know that there's going to be a uh, distinct post 5G event, right? Um, I think that 5G in and of itself is going to take some time to roll out and proliferate to the extent that its predecessors is now deployed across all locations all over the world. Um, I do think that 5G, in addition to the infrastructure technology or the refresh of that technology, a lot of what is going to happen around 5G is in fact the applications and the use cases that's going to take advantage of 5G. 
Um, if we think about what is, uh, what's, what 5G is capable of enabling, it doesn't just address consumer applications, 5G also will address enterprise applications. And that opens up a whole world of innovation, and again, applications, partnerships, and uh, vendors coming together who can really help the service providers put those pieces together and deliver on those applications. There's already talk about 6G, although it's very limited, <laughs> so it's easy for me to say what's coming next after 5G will be 6G, but I think that there's still a lot of activity and a lot of innovation that will happen around 5G for some time to come. Yeah, we, we know the standards in the consortiums always have to be working. I was looking at terabit ethernet uh, yes. uh, on the networking yes. side. So I wanted to help kind of bring this conversation together. If you have maybe a customer example, love if you could share who it is, but if not, you know, give us a little bit of, you know, anonymity around what it is to help uh, highlight the, the, this partnership. Sure, I think Owner A shared the city of Las Vegas as a great example of where we're enabling a smart cities use case. We can speak to Metel in terms of the capabilities of Dell Technologies to be able to help transform their NFV offerings and really help them bring NFV to market at scale. We can speak to uh, at least one tier one service provider in, uh, uh, in EMEA that is delivering a full stack offering in which we extended the capabilities of our Ericsson partnership that both Dell EMC as well as VMware have to build a complete stack offering of Ericsson, VMware, as well as Dell EMC. Yeah, and since, uh, since it's Ericsson, there's some of the edge computing in there. I've, I've talked to them quite a bit about what they're doing on their edge offering. Yeah, so I think the, you know, we, we have a number of examples that we also can't share as publicly, but I, you know, we continue to collaborate. I think we're, we're driving fantastic innovation. The, the industry is responding extremely favorably uh, uh, across the board, and I think that uh, the strategy that, that we have jointly to not just develop technology, but really change the way we engage with telecommunications organizations and service providers to work with them well before they're ready to deploy technology and also help them scale their own operations and understand this transformation uh, is really key to the success here because just having the best technology at this inflection point in the industry is not enough. We really have to partner to help them understand how to operationalize and monetize that infrastructure. And we do have a number of innovation projects with regards to the edge and far edge with some of the top tier service providers, in particular in the Americas, um, where we're working together for edge solutions. I, I got to hear what this far edge is uh, in a future <laughs> conversation. Because okay. I thought I was getting my arms around edge. I know but, it was uh, edge and now it's edge and far edge. That's why Dell <laughs> Technologies World 2020. That's right. <laughs> Honor a, Kevin, thank you both so much for coming on theCUBE. My thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Great time. We're watching theCUBE's live coverage of Dell Technologies World. There's more to come after this.